It's in a shed, out back. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. Disgusting. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> it must be hard. I know I hated my life when I was your age. I was fat, my dad was never around. Mine was. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me, said I drank too much. Wait, that's it, Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. What are you doing over there? Uh, nothing. This is uh, just... No.
Ma, you better look at this. He's been talking to the sheriff. Vincent, give me the book. Look, if I don't give him what he wants... <laughs> What is all this? Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here just got himself caught. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. <sighs> hmm. Shouldn't be much longer now. How are you doing? About, you know, Michelle. <sighs> you know, I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging me to take that pet food job. Hmm. But she was just trying to help me move on. You've had a rough year, Vance. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? I'm gonna do it. Sign the gag order. Take the money. Michelle's gone. All that matters now is I'm there for Zoe. Can't say I blame you after tonight. Having a nest egg, it's a smart move. I guess that bus will be here any minute. Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Ah, Jesus. Okay, look, my cancer, it's not as bad as I made it out. In fact, it, uh, it doesn't exist. I made it up. What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed, and suddenly I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left, except you. But after everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vance. It came from a good place. You did all that just so I'd accept you in my life again? Would you have otherwise? Probably not. And what about now, son? Can you give me another chance? Look, you're my dad. For better or for worse. And if you'd asked yesterday, I would have said no. But after tonight... I know I'm a lousy person. People can change, Dad. Just promise you'll never lie to me again. <sighs> you have my word.
everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <laughs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his mall. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. We stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. Is he dead? Jay, 
You have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. He's dead because you killed him. No! It was him or me. I was protecting all of you. I know you don't want to, but we can't go back now. Please, son, for me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. Ain't no use to him now. All the same, it still doesn't feel right. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. <sighs> Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for. Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your ma. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. <sighs> you want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Now listen, when I was half your age, we had this young horse, beautiful colt, rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me, started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle, says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. <laughs> Please. Oh, Help. shit. <laughs> we gotta cover him up before he... Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. Oh, God. Jay. Look like you need it. Hmm. 
Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I, I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people. They ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, You'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now, should have let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, 
You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Done right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Support. Ma, it's over. We can't win. Uh. Dear God, please let this work. God, what are you doing? Improvising. Oh shit! Run! 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 Come on, son. We can't stay here. I know. I'm going fast as I can. Jesus, what now? Oh, that's not good. We need to get out, now. Come on. Mother! Paul! Get out of there, the whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Grab my hands. Here we go. Oh, crap. Finch! What happened? Don't wait! Get clear of the building! She have the book. You... You crashed a bus into us. Also, you could... What? Get your journal back? No, Vince. What I did was change the conversation. How could I know the Holtz would turn the whole place into a barbecue? <sighs> you fucking asshole. You don't care about us. You're just a thug with a badge. You best watch your mouth, son. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Stand by for a minute, Coburn. Look, I appreciate you trying to help. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than to ask how or why. That book could 
bring down a lot of people, myself included. So, let's call it even, shall we? Fuck you. On second thought, maybe I will take you in for questioning. <laughs> <laughs> All we needed was a place to hide. And now my brother's dead! That wasn't my fault! You think you're Bruce Willis, huh? Undercover, fighting off bad guys? Well, guess what? You're just an overweight, middle-aged nobody who should have shut up and stayed out of it! Let him go. It's over. Okay? It's done. No, it ain't. Shoot him, Jay. Do it! What are you waiting for? He would have killed me. I'm your family. Your family! If you do this, you'll be a murderer. Is that really what you want? Life. Ain't about what you want. Wait! Jay, give me the gun. No! Get off me! Zoe, no, now I got you out of here. You're supposed to be in the car. The policewoman disappeared, and I wanted to find you, so I crawled into the gate. Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. I swear to God, if you take her from me... You'll what? Come after me? I lost a son tonight. I ain't losing any more. We're taking her and that's that. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ah, we gotta go. Wait, look! Look, I'm no lawyer, but in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? Because if you take Zoe and anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on, then. Daddy! Oh, God, Zoe. Come on. You're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Go find Grandpa, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here, in case we need to see in the dark. 
I love you, Zoe. Oh, 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 baby. The moon. Please say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. Wasn't always like that, you know. It's strange where life can take you. <sighs> She's gonna be all right. I know. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. Cut you down. Jay! What are you doing? Turn off your engine. Do not attempt to exit the vehicle. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Stop, God Almighty, let me tell you the news. My head's been wet with the midnight dews. 